In this lesson, you'll learn about some Boolean functions in the SOLIDWORKS software. Boolean functions are those things you learn about in junior high school math. Union, intersection, difference, things like that. Geometrically, they're pretty easy to visualize. Imagine that we take this pyramid and we add it to this cube. Or we subtract the sphere from the pyramid. Or we find all the material that's inside both the sphere and the cube. These are all typical Boolean functions, and SOLIDWORKS makes them available. They're not necessarily called Boolean functions within SOLIDWORKS, but they're still there. The Boolean functions in SOLIDWORKS can be found on the Insert menu, Features, Combine. The combine name may seem misleading because there are three actual operations that you can do with this. You can add together two shapes. You can subtract one shape or multiple shapes from another shape. Or you can find the solid volume that two shapes have in common. Let's start with the add operation. First, I'm going to turn off the cube display and insert features combine to add together the triangle and the sphere. When I hit right click to accept, they've combined now into a single solid body. If we go back and edit the combine feature, we can change this instead to common. And what we're left with is just the volume of material that would be inside both of those shapes. If we edit the feature again, and we use subtract, subtract really wants us to subtract certain bodies from another main body. So in this case, I'll make the cube the main body and subtract the pyramid and the sphere from the cube. What we're left with may have been difficult to visualize at first, but the combine feature helps you understand what the function does. Where would you use these type of features? Well, the subtract functionality is typically used in molding, casting, or any sort of die forming operation where you're using tooling to create some sort of shape. You can use it in two ways, either build the tooling and use the tooling to create the shape, or create the shape and use the shape to create the tooling. For example, if we delete this combine feature, if the cube in this case were instead an injection mold block, and you could think of the sphere as being a plastic part to be molded, the sphere would have to be completely within the block for that to work, but by splitting the block in two, you could create the mold for the sphere. So let's make that change. Let's turn off the pyramid, make the block bigger, say two inches in this direction, and we'll edit the sketch and add a dimension in this direction that's two inches and an equal relationship in the other direction. And now we will insert features, combine, subtract, the main body is the block, the bodies to subtract will be the sphere. And now if we look at this in wireframe, we see that the sphere is cut out from inside the block. Now to split the block, we'll use tools that we learned in a previous lesson. We'll take the top plane and insert features split, cut, and we're going to save both halves of the block. Now if we hide one side of the block, we can see that we've created a mold for a spherical part. That's one of the practical uses for the subtract command of the combine feature. For adding together bodies, in the previous lesson we saw with the crankshaft, 
that we built the entire part from individual bodies and then combined the bodies together. And the intersection option within the combined feature may be somewhat more difficult to find a practical application for, but the function is there for when you do need it.